All right, so I've had this here mower for a full season now. It is the Maverick. And probably the best mower I've ever uh, cut grass with. Um, <clears throat> it's not the absolute smoothest riding, but it is way better than most other mowers. Because it's got the dampener on there for the front right here. Uh, has them on the rear for the uh, the drives right there. It's got a really nice, easy access to your air filter. Super quick. And uh, I was worried about the fuel tank capacity at first, um, but I can cut for hours without using it. So I cut a lot of grass. Um, this is a little over an acre here, and then all that down there, and you can't even see how far down it goes. Um, all this over there, plus up at the house, I've got several several other places. There's another half acre over there. All in all, I cut around eight acres. Um, and it's all terrain like this. I don't have a flat yard anywhere. So this thing is awesome. I did add my own little cable here so I can quickly pull the chute up, um, up and down. And for cleaning it out, I just got done mowing earlier, so I haven't cleaned it, but it makes it really easy to get to with the leaf blower. Since some of the grass I let grow really long before I cut it, it uh, it flies around, kind of gets trapped in places. The only thing I don't like are these, which I haven't broken them yet, which is very surprising, because sometimes I get some sticks and stuff jammed in here. Uh, but other than that, I've not had a single issue with this mower. I've got 50, 57 hours on it. And this one doesn't have all the extra bells and whistles. Uh, it's like your entry level commercial mower. Just barely above any of your really nice uh, homeowner versions. But tires have been great. These get excellent traction, which is what I need for out here. Now, I still can't be cutting these kind of hills with it wet. Um, but I also don't really care if I tear up some turf. <clears throat> Another thing I don't like, though, are these armrests. These things really suck. Uh, I'll probably change them out. I either need to add a lot more padding uh, or get rid of them altogether. So they won't stay up. If you know I'm on these hills bouncing around, they want to fall down. Uh, so that's, that's pretty annoying. Other than that, uh, these tend to come loose sometimes. So you really got to crank, crank the heck out of them because I have some kind of rough terrain. But I'd say that's about my only complaints. Obviously, the stickers aren't going to last. Now, I keep it covered, but it's an open carport. So it doesn't see direct rain or anything but um it is a little in the elements and really the only thing rust spots that one's got a little bit there you got some here the black powder coat is a lot thinner um than the orange the orange is really good quality i've run it up against fence posts so i chipped a lot of it off there but that was from hard hit with steel it wasn't just done by itself this thing is really durable uh, tires are really durable 
um, the seats. The seat's actually very comfortable. Really enjoy the seat, and it has the spring down underneath it. You can see where it's kind of bubbled here. And you know, I, I mean, it's a mower, you know, so it's not that big of a deal for me, but for people that are looking, you know, wanting to buy one. Um, these drains are nice. You can store a lot of stuff in here. They're really big. You do have to keep them clean. That one, I don't, this one clogs up a lot more because it's right here in the side. So you've got, it can hold some water, but it doesn't take long to clean it. The cup holder sucks. Obviously, they all pretty much do. It's kind of short right here. And if you're bouncing around, so <sighs> you could improve upon that a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's uh, a great uh investment especially if you have you know a lot of a lot of grass to cut or if you're going to try and make money with it i mean i put you know almost 60 hours on it just cutting my own grass um if you did this as a part-time gig or something you're cutting people's grass trying to make some money i think you'd be all right i mean you could probably probably make your uh money back in probably two seasons i would say so but hopefully this will help you out i do have another video of when i first got it you can adjust your seat by the way too um i have another video when i first got it and uh it has a little bit of a walkthrough but i really didn't have much time on it so now that i've beat it around and cut through the thick stuff down there that area of pasture used to look like this and uh it, it mowed through it like it wasn't nothing so tons of power and and i got slopes so tons of power to cut through all of it that had been grown up for two years three years without even being cut and uh and then still going up and down the hills with no problem so it's a good one